Hello, babies. Uh, our stellar segment of Would You Rather. I have a couple here. Uh, and then, Ray, I, I, I know you have a couple more on the uh, um, Z-rated. The Quay. The Quay. Uh, okay, I'll go with uh, this one. Just a very simple, very sports-oriented, New England sports-oriented question. Uh, I thought it was relevant now that Aaron Rodgers is the savior of New York, according to BotPod there. Would you rather be a New York Jets fan or a New York Yankees fan? Yankees, because they win. Right yeah, now, I'd rather be a Yankee fan because if you're a Jets fan, you just look like you have you make poor life choices. The Yankees have not won in a very long time and continue to be the uh, most underachieving t- team in baseball. Yeah, but at least they made the playoffs. Well, that's Plus where the, the Jets, bar's at the green, now. Huh? It's it, it looks stupid, like Raymond High. Yeah. <laughs> Give me those pinstripes. Uh, I saw the varsity them. jack. I have this closet in the basement where we keep stuff, and in there was the jacket. I took it out. I was like, "All right, this should still fit." Should, should we should all good. pop that. We should all pop that jacket on next show. Done. Right, I'll get it. <laughs> Mine's over there, I think. Um, yeah. I, uh, get the dot us too. The problem with the Yankees fans, though, now you have to like. Now you have to converse and be a part of that fandom. You have to be engulfed into those douchebags. I feel like Jets fans own a level of misery that I can get down with. Mm. As as Red Sox fans in the 90s, Patriots fans before Brady, Celtics fans through the 90s, like Bruins fans ever, There, there's a level of depression that I can certainly connect with. Yankees fans are so hoity-toity and douchey when they haven't won shit in over 10 years and before that was another 10 years i'm going as much as i hate the jets and really that i'm going jets wow give me the j-e-t-s wow. kelly green misery an, an immediate reversal to your previous take <laughs> yeah. yeah well no i i just said they weren't gonna co- i just said they weren't gonna be good which very much goes with i just just give me the beers and the kelly green fucking jersey let's go fireman hat it's fine <laughs> Cheap seats. You know what you're getting yourself into every year. They're gonna suck. No problem. Let's go. Mm-hmm. I got okay. open Sundays. I can do shit. Rake the yard. Whatever. I don't have to watch the games. <laughs> man. Done. Oh man, I'm a Jets fan now. Uh, next up, would you rather be forced to? Uh, this one's for you, uh, Ray. And uh, uh, would you rather be forced, hey, Bobby? To you son always of wear wife beaters or wear sports jerseys with other grown men's names on their back in public? Wife beaters. The, the beater. That's the dumbest question you could have asked. So it, it should have been better. It should have, that could have been a better question. Why wouldn't you oh. want to wear a wife beater? It's yeah. awesome. Loser. I'm just asking why I, you would ever want to wear a yeah. jersey. And I tuck my what shit in double up, like Rich? Greg Reeson. <laughs> tuck it into my underwear. Do you really? Goddamn you right. The, you do the double Greg G Greg Reeson burger? taught me that. That way it never G comes burger? out. Yeah. Nice. So a little bit, a little bit of that cotton is rubbing up on your shaft all day. Just, just, just giving you a tease. It just gives me a nice tickle all day. Keeps yeah. me in a good mood. Yeah, you're constantly at half mass, just in case. How do you yeah, how right. do you hide your boner though? Why would you hide it? <laughs> Why? Well, you never hide your boner. I got a boner in the sixth grade in art class, and I had to hide in my uh, last pant- one ever. Plastic <laughs> band in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> that was a layup. God damn it. Last one ever. <laughs> so was that like the beginning of puberty? You couldn't control it? Or what Or what, what did Ashley Porter walk by? What happened? <laughs> no, Nicole Smith. Goes. Nicole Smith Sorry. walked into the class. Oh, we're going to have to beat that. Sixth grade Ray was like, give me some of that. <laughs> that was a 12-year-old. Mm-hmm. No, she was more. She was, uh, she was in eighth grade when I was in sixth grade. Oh, okay, right? cool. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah, nothing okay. like eighth grade puss high. Real fun story there, Ray. Yep. Uh, so you're taking it over your extensive uh, collection of other dudes' names on your back. Yep. Got it. Cool. Yep. How much money do you think you've spent on jerseys in uh, your life? No. Approaching ten grand. No. Dude, because oh, you, you get it from China. The yeah. Bucks on, piece. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So maybe like three hundred. Okay. Uh, Ray, you're up. Uh, would you rather? Sit on a dick and eat a cake, or sit on a cake and eat a dick. So so aggressive from the beater talk. You know? Would you rather be a Jets fan or a Yankees fan? <laughs> yeah, I'm such a pussy. Like, let's get down to the real brass tacks here. 
<laughs> now, is this your six year little six six grade little boner dick, or is this a grown man? <laughs> grown big, man, big grown man dick. style, average dick, five inches. Yeah, I'm definitely sitting on a cake. This <laughs> you're gonna eat a dick. Not, not that bad. That's fine. Yeah. Like I don't I don't like the taste of cake that much, so I can't imagine it's that much different. What's the frosting on the cake? I just don't I want to get rammed up my ass. Like I don't. Vanilla. I feel like it's, it's a pretty vanilla. easy choice. Well, no. Can I just sit on it like flat? It doesn't have to be up the butt. No, no, no. It's an erection. It's an erection. Yeah, I know. But can I just sit on it? So no, you're getting like penetrated. Like this it. is no, yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna go in your butthole, Bill. Oh, then if I we're gonna the fucking cake. if we're gonna eat Claire this bitch, that's an easy. That's an easy. Yeah. Answer, but no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's an easy one. Ray, you're taking it up the ass. No, I'm gonna eat that cake and oh no. I mean Yeah, yeah. That's where I was at that. It's like, oh man, I'd like some fucking cake. Yeah, I want cake, man. I'll sit on a dick and eat some cake. Fuck it. <laughs> Freudian slip right there, you fat oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, frosting. Mm. I don't even feel it. Yeah. Uh, that was the best cake I've ever fucking had in my life. Oh, this isn't really a would you rather, but well, you have to have a threesome with one male actor. Who would it be? You want me to name my devil's threesome participant? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You want me to go, boys? I'll go. Ryan Reynolds. Okay. Boom. Who? Ryan Reynolds. Handsome. Handsome motherfucker. Hmm. Um, I'm going to go Seth Rogen. Hmm. <laughs> I'm Why? The, wait, wait, get, wait, wait, wait. Why? So I'm going to get the better of this situation. <laughs> yeah, and that's I why like I we... was I was trying to think of a, a spindly little person that I that way I would um Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. All right. We don't need any uh, cops in this. Uh no, I just feel like um, you know, physically uh, maybe a touch above, uh but we could maybe get in some real method. He could really talk us into some some method flows. He can make you laugh while you're doing everything. Yeah, he'd give me some giggles. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd, be a, he'd be a fun partner. Oh no, I said Seth Rogen. I meant Jonah Hill. Either one. They're both fat fucks. It's, it's, either one is fun. <laughs> I'll take both of them. I don't care. I feel like Wow. Yeah. I'll go train with Seth Rogen and Nice. And Good for Jonah you. Hill. Robert. Give me Zappy. <laughs> All right, last one. I got one last one. Get dominated, Vine. Yeah. <laughs> would Zappy you ra- don't, Zappy don't play? Well, he's a we'll starter. See. He's starting in the NFL. Uh, would you rather really give up play. porn or sex for one year? I'll go. I already gave up sex for a year. <laughs> I'm not giving up that porn, baby. Uh, porn? That's porn. Porn. That was a bad closer. Yeah. All right. Okay. Hold on. No, we're done. That's it. You don't get. If you got ten thousand dollars a day for every day you didn't masturbate, how many days could you last? As many as I want. I have self control, especially if you're paying me ten fucking grand. (laughs) Okay. Are you meaning to tell me that if I can't keep your hand of your dick, you couldn't touch your dick? Like twenty grand is pretty good. Yeah, I could buy a boat. I could Ah, probably go. I probably go. I can go a week. Seven, seven take, days. But then after 70, you're like, it's enough. Nah. You know, it's not like you're having sex. You can't have sex. It's like you can't. It's like a. So now you're talking, about down a, there. you're talking about a potential you, health concern. Yeah. You're going to have to start getting into like you meditation, clean that pipe out, yoga. Man. Yeah. Yeah. What's that guy on American Pie where he was doing all those fucking weird Indian things? Not Native American, Bobby. Sorry. It was the Indian uh, Kama Sutra books or something like that. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banks to his mom. I wasn't talking about Native Americans, Bobby. No, 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 no. Fine, no, I'm not, I totally understand. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> that was what I did originally. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's an easy one too. Okay. Uh, oh fuck you. Gone off the rails here. Uh, Simplest Minds of the Week. When we get back, did you pay for the fucking Zoom? I don't know. I have it's, the whole thing's been screwed up. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Perfect. We are recording though, right? Yeah, yeah. The whole thing's <laughs> comes up tomorrow. <laughs>